Flesh and Blood TCG can be played online through Tabletop Simulator, and this is a quick and chill video on how to set this whole thing up so you can play Flesh and Blood TCG online. And just the big summary of this whole thing is you spend $20 on Tabletop Simulator and you can play any card in Flesh and Blood online with anyone out there in the world, and it syncs up with Flesh and Blood DB very nicely just to make it a really great experience for if you're playing casual or in competitive formats so let's get into it man now the first step is you download steam and if you haven't done so already you go to store.steampower.com which is this site right here and then on the upper right you see the install steam button you want to give that a big fat click and then do the whole process and download in steam along with creating a login user right here you click that and create a login and everything you guys are adults, you know how to do this, but essentially right here you need to download the Steam program. Once you have Steam downloaded and you've logged into the program, you're going to want to download Tabletop Simulator. And to do this, you go on the upper left to Store, you give that a click, and then on the right hand side you're going to see the search bar, and you're going to type in Tabletop. This is also known as TTS, this is the game that we're going to use to play the TCG that we want to play. So it's called right here Tabletop Simulator. And it basically simulates a bunch of different board games or trading card games and the like. You are accessing a ton of different games here. So the total price of this program or, or game here is $20. So Tabletop Simulator not only can play Flesh and Blood, but it can play a lot of games. So $20 really isn't that bad, and you can get access to as many Flesh and Blood TCG cards online and the digital space as you want. You never have to pay any additional to this. It's a flat cost. And sometimes you can find Tabletop Simulator on sale for $10 for a code. It's really not bad. So if you hit the Add to Cart button and do the whole paying method with your credit cards and whatnots, then you can get access to this program to play Flesh and Blood TCG online. After you've paid and downloaded Tabletop Simulator, we're going to be putting Flesh and Blood on Tabletop Simulator. And to do that, it's really simple, man. All you have to do is click a link down below to the Workshop tab for Flesh and Blood OSC. There, all you have to do is go down a little bit until you see Subscribe button. You click that. And then if you're not signed in, you do so. And after you sign in, you'll see the subscribe, go to subscribed. And essentially what this does is it puts all the flesh and blood game pieces onto Tabletop Simulator so you can play flesh and blood. This goes with a bunch of other games for Tabletop Simulator where you have to go to the workshop tab for the specific game. But once you do that, the game's already downloaded and you're good to go. The next thing we need is a deck. You need to play flesh and blood with a certain deck and to do that we're going to fabdb.net now to do this we're going to look over two different methods the first is the easiest man it's just finding a deck online that someone else made that you want to play so to do that you hit decks browse and it shows a little filter here with a bunch of different decks right here and let's say i wanted to make a bravo deck so i'm going to do bravo and then the format is blitz and then I'm going to hit search. Now there's a bunch of uh, different builds right here. Oh, it looks like my deck's here. So we're going to go in that. Bravo BZ America. So I'm going to click this deck right here if I wanted to play with it. You'll see down here it has a bunch of different cards right here. And let's say you click this deck, you want to play with it, you're good to go, you want this on TTS. All you have to do is copy this hyperlink right here and Later on, I'll show you where to put that in Tabletop Simulator, but this is your ticket to getting this deck. Now, the next step is if, let's say you wanted to create your own deck. You're like, you know what? This deck's all right. I want to create my own deck. I want to be creative. So what you do is you create an account with FabDB. It's fairly simple. Just hit the, the sign up or log in here. Once you've created an account and logged in, you'll see under decks, you can go into deck builder. So once you're in Deck Builder, you'll see a bunch of different decks that I've created in the past. Let's say you wanted to create a new deck. So you hit Create New Deck. And then let's do Bravo. And then on the Edit pane, you can add cards. So on the right-hand side, these are cards that I have not added yet. So let's do Buckling Blow. I'll do a couple of these just to show you. And some Cartilage Crushes. And you'll see once I hit these Add buttons, it adds the cards right here. 
You can also add more like this. And you can see that it updated two, two, two copies versus one and one. Also to save this deck, you'll hit the settings and then scroll down a little bit. And instead of new deck, let's just call it test deck. There's a save button at the very bottom. You hit save. And then you'll notice this hyperlink right here. This is the deck. Now, once you've subscribed to the Flesh and Blood OSC workshop and you've found a deck that you want to play with on fabdb.net and you have a link to the deck, you want to start up Tabletop Simulator. It's very simple. You just go to the library tab, you click Tabletop Simulator, and play. After Tabletop Simulator loads up after you hit play game, you're going to see a screen like this for the main menu of Tabletop Simulator. And you have two simple options here. You can either join a game of Flesh and Blood or create one of your own on Tabletop Simulator. So let's go over the join feature first. So when you hit join, right, you're going to want to put the search term of the table name that your friend has created. So I just put in fab and you can see that I have fab1 and fab dk. That's because it only searches for this term and it found two tables with a like term. So next I'm going to show you creating a table of your own. So I'm going to hit create button. We're going to a multiplayer. And then let's say the server name, which is what we just looked at, is going to be fab123. And then I'm going to make this public, but you could also do friends only. But public is fine, I, I believe, as long as you have a server password. You know, this is standard procedure, man. It's always 123 or, or ABC123, so, some nice and easy password here. The next thing is the maximum players. I always like to set this to two so no other people can join my game once me and my buddy are on it. But after you've put in all this information, you hit create server. Once you've done that, you're going to see a bunch of different games that you can choose from. We're going to go with Flesh and Blood OSC, which is the one we subscribed to earlier. So I'm going to click that and then hit load. And after you hit load, it's going to load all the game assets onto the tabletop for Flesh and Blood OSC. Now, after you come into the game, you're going to see the left hand side or right hand side has this deck builder. And this is really important because earlier we created a deck and this is where you put the deck ID. So you just click this right here and you'll see your cursor went over here and you hit control V or you control paste. So control V pastes the hyperlink that you copied before and you hit the build button. Once you hit build, you'll see that the deck populates right here and you're able to play the game. So you take your deck, you click and hold, and you bring it all the way over here. Same with your equipment right here, and you hit F to turn it over. But essentially, this is all your deck right here. And here is Bravo. Here is your weapon card. And you are all set to play Flesh and Blood online with anyone out there in the world and you're good to go there's a bunch of other little tricks along the way i'll put links down below to other really detailed methods of what to do but this is the basics of just getting started man like for instance you can right click here and shuffle you can also hover over here and hit four to draw four cards and there's a lot of other little key shortcuts i'll put a links down below for more descriptive things, but this is how you set up Flesh and Blood online to play through Tabletop Simulator. Hope you've enjoyed and have fun playing Flesh and Blood.